Well, I'd been making homebrew beer for a few years. I'd always used raw ingredients myself and made up my own recipes. I've always enjoyed being creative like that and uh, producing something that people enjoy themselves. And so I used to bottle it and give to friends and started getting really good feedback on it. And it was that really that inspired me. I thought, well, actually, I wouldn't mind in, uh, making a career out of this. I'd really enjoy running a commercial brewery to create this product that people enjoy drinking. We do have a couple of other pubs. Uh, we venture down into to Herefordshire that, yeah, that we deliver to. They, they have um, the Snowdonia Rail on permanently. Um, so they have a van load at the time. And then out, outside of that we use wholesalers um, South Wales, Lancashire, in the Midlands, and that, that gets our product out to a, a wider audience than we can reach ourselves. Locality, I guess. In the uh, last five, six, seven years, there's been a great increase in um, interest and demand for locally produced food and drink. And being where we are, we get a lot of visitors to the area. I suppose that yeah you know, that that demand is enhanced, particularly in the summer. People wanting to try a bit of locally produced produce. We did yes from Welsh Assembly Government. We're very grateful for that. We got a, a reasonable grant towards the the setup of the, of the brewery with the plant and that kind of thing. We started off doing maybe one or two brews a week. It all seemed to be going nicely, selling it all to, to local pubs. And gradually we expanded our sales area. We, we started just North West Wales and then gradually expanded right across North Wales to include sort of over heading towards Chester really. Um, in fact, now we do deliver into Chester and Shrewsbury as well. It's difficult to say because we haven't really had too many barriers as such. Uh, I would say that the, the key ingredients are having a quality product and marketing it well, getting your pricing right, because obviously you don't want to be so expensive that uh, nobody will buy it, but too low and you know, your profit margins are um, too, too small to be able to ride out um, difficult financial periods. You know. Obviously, being in a rural area, we haven't got the sort of large conurbation concentrations where there's lots and lots of pubs, you know, effectively sales outlets for us, all in one place. So it does involve, for the deliveries, um, travelling quite a few miles to, to find lots of customers. But really, sin since we expanded our delivery area to include North East Wales as well, and so we're covering the whole of North Wales, um, being able to reach that whole area we found that we've picked up a lot more customers along the way, you know, and, and uh, even in rural areas, we can we can put them on route to say, if we're going over towards Chester, um, we're able to reach a lot of people in rural areas just because of the nature of the different directions we're going in, in our different delivery areas. Not really. Obviously, we're, we're very conscious of the percentage increase on previous year's sales at a very low sort of conservative estimate but we're, we're one of the few businesses which thankfully has is, is, uh, ridden out the recession fairly well in that and I, it could be down to geographical location that we get a lot of visitors in the summer here so the the peak in sales in the summer has, has still uh, has still been there and, and really helped the business through um, and to a great extent, I suppose people uh, are holidaying more in areas like North West Wales, where we are, than going abroad. So, if anything, our sales have actually increased over the last uh, two or three years. Work hard, drive initiative, get your marketing and sales set just right, um, pricing. Um, friendly bank manager. <laughs> From a business point of view, I would say how quickly the business has grown um, 
it's really encouraging to see uh, just how much the sales have increased over the last three years and it, it kind of makes you realise that the business is going in the right direction and we're doing something right. You know. But I suppose from on the other side of that, um, on the actual quality of the beer, the, the sheer number of awards we've won in the six years that we've been going and that's kind of been topped off this year with um, we've got a bronze award in the Brewing Industry International Awards.